Alex Correa with on Squared Circle Report, and we have a very special guest, Mike Stiegel, man. How's it going? How you doing, Mike? Good. Well, first, uh, welcome to uh, the team, Rick Ramos, boxing team. Yeah, uh, how you been? How long you been here, and how you liking it so far? Um, I've been coming here for, I guess this is my sixth week now, um, and I'm loving it. Uh, the environment's awesome. It's a good atmosphere for fighters, and yeah. everybody works hard. I'm really being pushed. So that's good. Um, yeah. I, want, I don't want you to get insulted when I say this. All right? Good. Good. <laughs> uh, the other day I was in here talking to Rick. You were in the ring, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, is that Mike or is that it's someone else? And he's just like, that's Mike. And I'm like, holy shit, man! Like you had you had a big weight difference from when you started till now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how, what, what's the difference? And uh, um, you know, I I really changed my diet, um, and the focus is different, um, and it has a lot to do with just coming here and being with around Rick and Jessica and all the other fighters. Um, the mentality so you know I really really figured out I got to live like a fighter and look like a fighter right right uh, if I want to be respected like one so yeah you look you uh, you look the part man you put yeah. in the work it, it fucking shows man I'm Thank not you. yeah Thank so you. That, that's <laughs> also man yeah yeah what's like the, the, the your favorite thing or your the, something like you sit back in your chair and you're like man that was cool in your career like looking back what was um, it? Man, I think I would have to say, as of now, probably um, my last fight, really. Um, everything, just the way the fight went down, it was kind of like a Rocky story. Okay. Um, yeah, I took it on short notice. It was the biggest fight card I've ever fought on. I fought under the Colin Walsh card uh, for 360 promotions. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, it was just the atmosphere, actually fighting in an arena, um, you know, being on the poster and the official weigh-ins and stuff like that. So, oh, nice, man. Yeah. So yeah. You're like this is real, man. Yeah, it's I'm, real I'm here. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. And um, who 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 was one of your uh, favorite fighters coming up? Like, um, my favorite fighters coming up, I would say um, probably Roberto Duran. Okay. Uh, my first coach, Kirk Douglas. He was a big old school guy. So I watched a lot of Roberto Duran and studied him, and then probably Canelo Alvarez. Canelo. In his earlier career. Okay. Yeah. And okay. And what about now? Um, right now. Um, it's a toss-up. I'd probably have to say, I'd say Devin Haney right now. Devin Haney? Yeah, different okay. style compared to what I'm used to, but yeah, I like okay. Devin Haney a lot. He's real slick, man. I, mean, I, I can see why why people like him. And yeah. Stuff, you know, the, yeah. the big defense. I was always a. It's funny. People ask me the same thing. I I uh, I like like Triple G style, just fuck, you know, hammers uh, and everything. And yeah. then at the same time, I like Mayweather being how slick he was, yeah. the defense I'm, and right. the counter punching. So you know, like yeah. It's a I appreciate both, boxing. so kind of yeah. like 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 who you pick too from sure. uh, Durant and Haney and Canelo, you know. Yeah. Canelo's a little combination of them too, both, but definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And um, who who uh, do you have a fight scheduled at all or? Any? I don't have a fight scheduled just yet. Um, okay. We have something in the works though. So. Okay, I got you, man. Yeah. And uh, anyone that um, anyone that in two to three years kind of in your weight class that you're like man I, I hope I get to catch get in the ring with him uh, um, I don't really have anybody in mind um, there's a if this first fight works out um, I'd like to move on and fight a big Irish fighter that they're promoting in the US right now Colin Walsh okay um, he has the uh, silver WBC belt right now and Dana White really helps promote him and so I'd like to get in the ring with Colin Walsh eventually yeah and then you yeah. get beat him you get that rub on on you and then exactly <laughs> yeah and, the, and up to the top you go man yes sir yeah no. that's the that's the plan that's the goal make it to the top so okay are you you're from st louis you come to chicago to train mm -hmm. on the weekends have you caught any baseball games i here? haven't no i've never really been into into baseball so oh much. i just assume you're a cardinals fan because everyone i know from over there is like <laughs> yeah. a hard i'm a white Sox fan so gotcha we, gotcha we both okay. got the no love for the cause so i thought yeah. <laughs> would get something like that but yeah. it's all good yeah all right just uh, pure boxing then is your uh, uh, pure boxing i watch a little bit of football i kind of jumped on the chiefs bandwagon okay when I magic mean, mahomes <laughs> came on so Ain't nothing but, wrong with that. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a local team for you too, right down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I enjoy the Chiefs, so. Awesome, man. Well, thank you, Mike. I appreciate the time. Awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, looking, uh, good luck in your career, and I'm looking thank forward you. to watching your fights. Appreciate it. All right, man.